Good morning from Nampanton Reservoir and my second vlog down here and probably my last vlog of the year. Come down last night, just flicked out a few rods and the first light this morning, this lovely little mirror with its winter coat on, decided to take a look into the ASM and uh, yeah that's my prize. Literally awful this morning. So I want to get this fish back, get these rods back out and continue on with the V-Blog. So if you like these type of videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also give it a subscribe and support my channel. And hopefully plenty more fish like this over the winter. So enjoy the next 40 eight hours down here hopefully a few more of these to come hello it's me johnny tosh and welcome to chasing chucks so you join me on the 28th of october and you've just seen me put that prize back of that lovely mirror with its winter coat on hopefully we can top up and have a few more that look like that size is irrelevant when you know they look like that and i'm more than pleased with that capture so as i did say on that video i dropped down last night put three rods out the 13 wraps and because i couldn't get the catapult and get the bait out at that sort of range i just literally put three spots out of the top of each rod and yeah the middle rod went this morning and uh, yeah got my prize I think this trip is going to be a little bit moody because I'm not seeing the activity that I seen the last time I come down and it just doesn't feel like you know it's got the same sort of buzz that the, the last time I come down you know we have seen them fish seeing a lot of activity uh, I felt like I was gonna get you know quite a few bites but I think we're gonna uh, be scraping for fish on this session but hey got my blank saver and I've still got 48 hours in front of me so plenty more to come and a few of the big ones are due out as well so yeah I'm, uh, I'm confident as in you know that I'm gonna pick up fish but as in regards to getting multiple takes like I did last time I don't think it's gonna happen uh, Dave's in the swim next door he joined the same time as me a long with uh, Jason as well, all three of us joined. Uh, so we're having a little bit of a social as well. And I'm sure between the two of us, we can pick up a couple of fish. We had nothing last night. Uh, but I think he's on the uh, fish at the moment. The, the couple of fish I have seen have just been down in the margins, down to the left hand side, where that wind's pushing on. It's uh, predicted to keep pushing that way for the next 48 hours. Uh, I'm not intending to move down when, when he goes tomorrow. I think I'll just stop on the spots and just keep topping them spots up. Uh, there's only me and Dave on at the moment. Uh, so for a Friday morning, that ain't too bad, but I'm expecting the anglers like last time to turn up a little bit later. So onwards and upwards, and uh, let's see how this trip goes. See you guys.
afternoon. I was just thinking to myself how quiet it is. And off went the right hand rod out into the middle of the lake where I'd seen a couple earlier on this morning. And that's the result of the take. A little common, but it'll give us something to move on to and try and pick something up a little bit bigger for the rest of the session. But I'm more than pleased with it, obviously because of how slow it is. And the fish is a fish. Right, let's slip this back. Let's get that rod back out on the spot. Top it up with a little bit of bait. And continue on. So going forward into the night we've got th two rods which have gone short, 13 wraps and the right hand rod which drew me a fish earlier is out in the middle at 16. So then I'm going to stop in situ now until the morning. I'm going to wind away the hours, I'm going to have myself some food and yeah fingers crossed for tonight and obviously first thing in the morning. So au revoir for now guys. Update the video blog as usual, either tonight or first thing in the morning. Bye bye. rain. I had a couple of bleeps on the uh, right hand rod and I thought please don't go off please and uh, what happened absolutely tore off so I've had to go piling out to eat it and this Got back out, just put it in the sling while the uh, rain passed, and then rods have gone back out. Fish number three. So one every morning now, and uh, obviously one on the afternoon. All coming off the same spot, so I'll flick to rod out a little bit farther. Then the other two was fishing a little bit short. Now I've just uh, flicked another one out onto that spot. Right, send it on its way. 
Well, good morning, nine o'clock in the morning. I'm just enjoying a break in the weather after having that fish in torrential rain this morning. Most of the night has been quiet, which I'm thankful for, to be honest with you, because it literally hammered it down with rain for most of the night. And it wasn't until around right about half past six, I was just sitting here having a cup of tea, heard a couple of uh, indications on my alarms, and I thought maybe that is the uh, the rain hitting the Delkim sensor and I thought please don't go off please please and what happened it steamed off so I had to get out play the fish in torrential rain and uh, even though I didn't enjoy it we've still got another fish for the video blog so that's three fish up and with that we've got another 24 hours to go I'm uh, starting to top up these these baited spots and trying to get them then fish visiting them and get it rocking all the fish now have come out on the long rod with that the other two rods which are dropped short because of this prevailing wind pushing onto this bank one of them rods has been pushed out to where i've been having them fish so i've got two rods out uh the long spot and just drop, keep one in this uh, marginal area for the rest of the day and i'll uh, have a look and see about putting it out where the others are if we do pick up fish today or a little bit later on so the lake's pretty quiet dave's gone next door there's another angler come on over there so there's two anglers over on that bank nobody else on this bank and i'm hoping that's going to stay the same and uh, a little bit less pressure over here might just uh, drive them fish into these margins and obviously I've got a, a one rod in that in that area to cover that so yeah just gonna enjoy the rest of the day update the video blog a little bit later have myself some breakfast and enjoy so catch you a little bit later guys Well, half past three, having my stroll up and down the bank as you do as a carp angler. Just looking out for signs of fish and any sort of activity on the lake. And now I do see carp roll every now and again. They are literally spread all over the lake at the moment. So, half past three, probably got another couple of hours before I reset the rods. So I'm having a little bit of a think to how I can induce and try and catch one of the bigger fish out of there. Now today I've really come down to try and target one of the A-team or one of the bigger fish in here. Should be this time of year now that these fish have got to start to get on the feed. However it hasn't really uh, turned out like that and I'm seeming to be here fishing for a bite of time and when i've got a fish i'm just putting out a couple of spots so i am debating whether just to put a great big bed of bait out there see if i can hold a group of fish out there and obviously you know these bigger fish in here are going to be boiling munchers so putting that little bit of bigger bed of bait out there is that going to be bringing the bigger fish in i don't know it's a, it is a little bit of a gamble but I'm definitely thinking about doing that and just putting three rods out where I've been having most of my takes out into the middle of the lake and just sitting on it and uh, hopefully we uh, may get something for a little bit of a gamble if we don't then at least I'm not going to be going home thinking I wish I'd have done that, I wish I'd have put that extra bait out because it may have got me that fish so just for my last night I ain't going home blanking uh, I'm going to uh, definitely think about putting a big bed of bait out there and putting three rods on it. 
now there's a carp come out over on the opposite bank but again it's just that fishing for the bite at the time the odd fish coming out every now and again either to me or to one of the other anglers uh, but they certainly are not crawling up the lines as they did last time I come so let's try and induce a bite let's uh, try and change things up put us some spots out there and for a big better bait see whether we can get one First things first, finger stall. See whether I can get these three out, all fishing. First time of asking. There's number one, that's perfect. Beautiful. Right, so this is the bait that's going out. It's literally been doused in the key bait solution that ASM feeds them. And all that's going in is oozing the traction. And we're going to put that all around them three rods and sit on them until they either go off or we blank in the morning. I'm so glad I haven't got to touch this bait. It literally stinks. Oh. Well, that didn't open then. Should know better with uh, dot spot. Always opens. Well, that is all the spotting done. 
and I've left a little bit in the bottom just as a little bit of a top up if we do get a fish later on and I've also got another 5kg behind me uh, for topping up for most of the night uh, yeah I'm getting used to it goodness me I'm absolutely shattered so I'm not going to update the video blog again this evening I'm going to let the uh, light go down and relax into the bivvy and hopefully one of these rods or a couple of these rods will rattle off through the night and our gamble will pay off so until then guys good night and nampanton out bye bye Well, nice start to the night shift, half past eight, and the left hand rod's away on the bait of this spot. Just put it out, I think I'm not too far off where I cast. So, yeah, back out fishing, and on the spot. Put a couple of spots over the top as well, with boilies. So, yep, one up for the night, and hopefully, We'll get a bigger one in the mix. Slipper back. Well, this one's worth waiting. gamble has paid off. I just knew it. I just knew if I put some bait out one of the big ones would turn up. And yep, it's coming in at 34 without the sling being zeroed, which I think is around about four pounds itself. So it's around about the 30 pound mark I think when I'll update it at the obviously the video blog on this fish's weight. As soon as this is over, I'll put away the sling empty. But I ain't really bothered. But uh, yeah, it's a beastie. There we go, guys. The result of putting out a bit more extra bait right in the middle of the uh, baited area. Proper drop back, lifted into it. so we can now identify it. Just gone 11 o'clock and uh, brilliant. Two fish, still got a long night to go yet. Brilliant. Right, let's take some snaps and send it on its way.
first of two fish this morning basically right after each other and I've just got the other fish just in the uh, retention sling down there I'll be getting that out in a minute but I want to get this rod back out on the spot and get it fishing and it looks just on cute, I've got a bite fish number two and then fish on the bounce and I've literally just had another lovely common as well which I'd say is going to go around about 20 pounds so I'm eager to get this one back send it on its way and get the other one out right right well when the gamble pays off fucking bloody hell man Well, when the gamble pays off, one of five fish through the night, three this morning, and the spot is rocking. Right, I'm going to push this one back, because it's just caught me with this pectoral fin, and literally sliced right the way down my hand. Great. Right, let's get a quick photo shot. Well, the barra is packed. Gonna have to bring this wonderful session to an end. And even more better that I'm ending on a high. As my night fishing finishes, the day sessions take over. And what a way to finish doing the nights down here with eight fish in total and that 30 pound mirror as well. If you like these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also give the channel subscribe because i've got lots going on over the winter just going out to day ticket waters and trying to capture the fish over there during the winter period and you can watch me freeze my ass off on the bank for your pleasure so for nam panting out ta -da, for now it's a bish bash bosh Keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines. See you on my next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.